And now it's singing at me. Hello everyone, I am the Architect and welcome to Drunken Robot Pornography. This is a fun little game, I've had quite a bit of fun playing around with- Okay, we're gonna get off this screen real quick because that's gonna keep singing for like 20 minutes. It's great, they made its own catchy little theme song. I'll... You really should go look that up. It, it's just fun to listen to. So, this is a first person bullet hell shooter with a little bit of a quirky story. Don't worry. It's completely clean despite its name. So you're a, we'll go through some story bits here first. Your apartment. Oh god, what a mess. You can't even fit inside it. Leave in a huff. Life somehow diminished for its futuristic lack of ability to slam the door. You hit the close button. The doors slide shut quietly. So, in case you're wondering about what the story is, here's all the story. Your bar. Your now former bar has been cordoned off. There's a sign posted over the door. Closed by the order of Boston Sky Fire Department. About a week ago, your head robot bartender, Tim, went berserk and burned the place down. He took your 12 robot dancers. He built them into giant robot bodies, and now they're trying to destroy Boston. That's what you're fighting now. Ah. Yes. That's basically it. Your robot bartender took all your robot dancers and has turned them into robot killing machines. Let's just, let's just jump into it, shall we? So, get the martinis, kill the titans. All right, I caused this and now I'm gonna fix it. You have a jetpack and a gun. And the main principle of the game is just shoot the things as much as you can, as fast as you can. That was easier than I expected. Oh yeah. It's really not that hard of a game, especially if you're good at first person shooters and bullet hell games in general. You're not going to have a whole lot of trouble with this. They used to keep molasses here until the great leak of 2019. <laughs> And once you shoot off all their limbs, you get their core and you're done. It's really, at least at the you beginning, it's really easy. Oh, I got mail. R. Timothy. Ruby Matsumoto, you miserable wastrel of an ape. It's Tim, your former bartender. I just wanted you to know I burned down your bar, Ruben. That was me. I'm not sorry. P.S. I quit and I stole all your other robots. Thank you, Tim, but we already know that. And now we're going to kill you. This place could really use some railings. So I've got some power-ups. Rapid fire. To the power-ups, yeah, the power-ups have like a limited number of shots there, you can see on the left side. And there's that one down. Who's next? And ta-da. Yeah. So, I've had a few... Pet Sky Whale. Pet Sky Whale. I want a Pet Sky Whale. Few people have asked about this game, particularly because of its crazy name. But yeah, it doesn't really have much to do with the name, but is quite a fun game, nonetheless. Again, this building can't possibly be up to code. Search results. Boston Sky limits set by federal oversight in 2009 base decision. Off. Local municipal oversight limited but likely applies in this situation. Off. In the event that a simple majority of a disputed zone's inhabitants are in favor, a tribunal may be selected with the power to regulate safety. Safety enforcement for such tribunals is provided by volunteers only. Volunteer shortage is mitigated by the opportunity to have power over others. 
and with the wearer's choice of several interesting hats. End program. I want an interesting hat. Even the decision to. <laughs> okay. So, as you can see, not every mission revolves around killing a titan. A lot of the time you just have to collect some stuff. I'm sorry I didn't do that slowly enough for all the dialogue to go you through. Got mail. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. Ruben Matsumoto, you glaring disproof of divine providence. You may have noticed my handiwork around the city. That's your fault. You made me, and you made me make this happen. How can you live with yourself? Here's news for you, buddy. I hope you can't. That seems harsh. That's really quite mean. Next fight. <laughs> Points. That is all. Inbound collectible gears. Highlight them in green, will ya? <laughs> Triple fire. 10% to target. I probably didn't need to chase that one all the way down Hunter there, did fire. I? 20%. 30%. And you can see at a certain point count, you will get a titan to show up. That's 40%. how most of them are. There are a few special boss titans, from my understanding, but from now on, 50%. you'll have extra objectives. 60%. 70%. 80%. 90%. 100%. 100%. 90%. And just to highlight a point, you don't have to kill the Titan, you just have to reach the point limit. You've got mail. Oh, okay. Oh, new person. Mr. Matsumoto, Sully Gillette here with the Boston Sky Clarion. Your bar was torched to cinders and I want the scoop. My source on the force says it's a disgruntled former employee. Tell me, was it the bionic barmaid with a burgeoning beef? The careless cook with a malfunctioning microwave? Or maybe you just needed a nice fat insurance payout? Call me. Yeah, that's not a good way to request an interview. Martinis! Don't drink in jetpack. I could do it because 100%. I'm fighting robots. A martini is literally worth multiple robo snake lives. Let's try it again. Relaxing. Keyword relaxing. Automated search. Ugh. Destroy four titans. So, th so this one's about killing the titans. Detecting sensual Joe kinematics. My barmaster? Former barmaster and exotic dancer. Okay, fair enough. So now we gotta fight the employees. Get it! Get it! I mean, it's really not that bad. You just chop them away from the outside, and Ooh, I hope that doesn't hurt me. Coming another Titan. Oh, hello. Okay, so that's the Titan. Got it. And ta da. So you can see, the fights are a lot more flashy than they are actually difficult. You've got mail. Uh, more mail. Ruben, it's Azumi. I updated the wetware on your suit so it's not so dumb. It calls itself suit now, so zero points for creativity. Also, change your admin password. Correct horse battery staple is not secure. <laughs> okay. I fly on a jellyfish. A lot of these levels are references to the actual company that makes it. 
They're very into themselves. Your suit calls itself suit. It's a genetically modified starfish. It will talk to you during battle. Also while you sleep. Hello, Ruben. I'm Sue. Your flight suit. Well, that's new. Don't die. Thanks. You're welcome. I'm gonna like suit. Triple fire. Huh. That is actually a really cool one. Ooh, but I have a hard time dodging that. Let's chop it away from down below. And there we go. A lot of them... <laughs> A lot of them will also have little tricks like that where, you know, they have a weak spot that you can stand or get to to make the fights easier. Not that this is really that difficult of a game. I know there's an arcade. Insert martini to start. Okay. This is new. <laughs> oh, okay, so I can move around. So yeah, I'm a giant jelly. Eat it, Robo Jelly. Oh, I didn't know this home. And then he puts on sunglasses. Get 7,000 points. Easy peasy. Parade dragon. I like suit. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, rapid triple fire. You just break everything. I'm not, you know, wonderfully amazing at this game, but it's also not hard. And that's my biggest complaint that I have with this. Parade dragons. Say it with me. Parade dragons. That's nice. So destroy one titan. I think we have another special fight coming up here. Ruben, we're currently at Brahmin Lost Luxury Condominiums. They have been evacuated. Good. Splinter fire. Okay, not paying attention. And there we go. And now I'm overpowered. That's a crazy titan. I like this one. And there you go. I'm not going for high score. This definitely is a game that revolves around you wanting to go for a high score. And sorry if I'm not talking a whole lot with this. There's just not a whole lot to talk about. The game is very flashy. And I enjoy it for what it is. But I don't know if I can recommend it so much. We're gonna go ahead and stop there since we've gone through 10. You've basically seen everything the game really has to offer. It ramps up in its visual and gets more flashy, more exciting, more quirky characters, but it's a basic first person shooter with a first person bullet hell element, which kind of goes clunkily together. I don't know. Also, Valley pointed out that I have absolutely no idea how long the game is. I have never 
wanted to put enough time into the game to actually beat it. And that's another thing. If I haven't had the desire to finish the game, I have a hard time recommending it if it's going to get boring by the end. Either way, it just looks like your cup of tea. Pick it up on Steam. It's not that expensive. I'm the architect. If you liked the video, like, subscribe, catch me over on Twitch. That's where I do most of my stuff. And I will see you later.